Welcome to another School of Airway by Dr. Torres. I work somewhere in New York, in Queens, if that's a clue. So I got a package from the Netherlands. First time I ever got a gift from anyone in the Netherlands. And this gift is to teach me how to use the Venti Nova. Um, I used to always tell my residents using a Jimmy rigged 16, uh, 14 gauge six or 16 gauge uh, needle with a catheter connected to a 3O uh, size uh, 3cc syringe, Jimmy rigged with a 7.5 endotracheal tube connector. Was the MacGyver way of making a needle crike, and using it to on a BVM was a way that people would try to teach it. And in my experience, it wasn't successful, at least on mannequin use, simulated use. Uh, trying to use a high flow nasal cannula also was not feasible for me, and I didn't believe it that it worked because it only provide oxygenation temporarily and not truly allow for expiration. Until this device, I noted uh, on a website um, and on the internet regarding new airway devices, and this is the one true device that I've seen that potentially can be used life-saving or for elective cases or even temporizing measures for oxygenation and ventilation before you decide to commit to an open or closed surgical airway. Oxygenate them up, theoretically throw down a guard wire and maybe use it with a cook uh, kit, milker kit uh, for a surgical airway using the cylinder technique. Either way, this device convinces me that you can actually ventilate and oxygenate with the device. All right. Now, I don't understand all the physics. I do know that this device comes with uh, a bag for demonstration. Um, it's not FDA approved. Uh, the, cr the, the catheter needle, the 13 gauge needle catheter that's recommended for this device. So this is the device that's being used and it was supplied to me with the demonstration kit by Cook. Okay, this device is supposed to be inserted over this uh, apparatus. Almost looks like a three or one liter uh, reservoir bag. And through this device and through this condom, this orange condom that you put over it, you can actually insert the, this catheter. You hear the pop. And use this device. It says Ventrain and has simple explanations how to inspire and expire and equilibrate. All right. My theory on how this device works is this. High flow oxygen goes in one direction and as long as I keep both of these uh, ports closed, air will go into the lung. If I open this port, it's been designed that the air will go this way and allow pulling of air from the lungs. So if I do this, both ports at the same time, air will no longer go through here, it will just go force itself through this apparatus that will be connected to the catheter. If I open this port above, the direction no longer goes this way, the direction of the air goes this way. The, there's still a connection from here to here to the lungs, just that now the air is no longer one way this way, going the opposite way, pulling off air. All right. There are those of you who will not believe until it's demonstrated. Okay. So I'm going to plug this device into an oxygen tank. Provide high flow oxygen. And make it 10 liters. And demonstrate demonstrate this device. So I guess theoretically you should have already had this connected. No harm is being done right now. And the instructions on both sides of the device. I'm not blowing that air in. It's inflating. But how's the air getting out?
with the same flow going in is the same amount of flow going out. How much? I'm not sure. When I saw this, I thought this would be perfect for pediatric airways, but it's not been designed for pediatric airways. Not yet. But I see the application, the applicably, the applicable uh, chances of using this applications suggest successful use for needle crikes in patients who, uh, based on their age, or contraindicated for crike, surgical crikes, but surgically indicated for tracheostomies. This will buy you due time with oxygenation and ventilation. Okay. Now some will say this is only a balloon. So what if I use this on a device, on a something that looks like a human? All right. So I'm gonna remove this catheter and try to use it on something that looks like a human. So I feel the surgical landmarks and do my lingual handshake. Will this work on this mannequin? No. So again, for safety reasons, I probably would disconnect this device. Use my landmarks. Enter. I've entered. If I would hub it. Feel resistance. So is it in the right place? That's the issue. Okay. So I feel some feedback. And the compliance of this mannequin is different from humans. So and I feel this like backup pressure. So this may not be the points of this chest of this mannequin's chest may not be allowing me to use successful lung expansion through inhalation or decompression through exhalation.